Special thanks to the people who have made the production of the American Health Journal possible. Toshiba Medical Systems, providing physicians with imaging tools to improve diagnosis since 1914. And generous assistance from Nature Star Health Supplements and HF Healthcare, serving the hemophiliac community. The American Health Journal, bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello, and welcome to the special edition of the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. We devote our entire program this time to something you can't live without, water. You probably think you pretty much know what there is to know about good old H2O, but stay tuned. You may be surprised at the many new ways that water is being put to use. Take everyday tap water and apply an electrical charge, and water takes on some entirely new properties. We'll see why the Minnesota Timberwolves of the NBA are using electrically charged water to clean their basketball court. We'll look at ionizer machines that some people are turning to as their main source for drinking water. We'll take you to the Andes Mountains of southern Ecuador to find the source of natural water that's said to have special qualities, a place where many live to be a hundred. We'll see how everyday water is now being used to replace harsh chemicals to scrub the hallways at schools, malls, and major corporations. And could the ionized water in this battery-powered spray bottle soon replace all those cleansers under your kitchen sink? All of this next on this special water edition of the American Health Journal. Although it's been used in Asia for more than 30 years, we're just beginning to hear about applications for ionized water in this country. So what is this altered form of water? We get an explanation from Jay Hare, an executive with Ionways, a company that makes ionizers for home use. I grew up thinking water was water was water, and I've always been a big water drinker, and uh, we're really creating a new paradigm for water. You know, you, you tell people we can produce a water that sterilizes. How, how is that? How can you create that? Um, we alter the water primarily in two ways at a, at a fundamental scientific level, and th those are both measurable. We alter the pH, we raise or lower that, and we can raise or lower the electrical properties in the water. And that creates a very um, powerful change in the water that we can demonstrate in a variety of ways. It's a tough thing to do to tell people that, you know, you can, you can kill a virus or a bacteria with just plain water. It's, uh, it's equally mind-bending to tell somebody that you can replace chemical surfactants and detergents. You can wash your clothes in, uh, in just plain high alkaline water, no chemicals. The process through which we create the alteration in the water begins with filtration. So first we clean the water up of contaminants, the vast majority of contaminants, but we allow the, the naturally occurring mineral content to pass through, and that's crucial. Um, after we clean the water up, it, it goes into what's known as a water cell, which contains a series of electrodes and membranes. The electrodes get charged with opposite charges, so you have a positively charged electrode separated by a membrane and then a negatively charged electrode. And everything in the water cell then happens through polarity and attraction. And so this is the process of what we call ionic separation. And so we literally separate the constituents in the water and then through that process the water takes on these different properties that we can measure, the altered pH and the different electrical properties. Ionway sells residential ionizers for use in the home, and they're used primarily for drinking water, um, although people are getting tuned in to some of the wonderful properties. They're cleaning with them. Um, some people are sterilizing with them. Um, some people are getting rid of the 409s and the, the detergents and the, you know, the chemical cleaners and, and really opening their mind to the possibility of, of what this water can be used for in all its different forms in the home. In Japan today, uh, one in five homes, somewhere between one in five and one in six, has some form of ionization technology in it to produce this type of altered water. In Korea, it's about one in eight. 
Uh, here in the United States today, the estimates are somewhere between 1 in 10,000 and 1 in 12,000 homes has an ionizer in it. Um, and it's very simple to use. Uh, water comes in in one stream, gets cleaned up, gets split in the water cell and altered, and then comes out as high pH water on the alkaline side and low pH or acidic water on the, on the acidic side. The general wisdom in Asia has always been alkaline on the inside, acidic on the outside. Alkaline on the inside, meaning this is the water we would drink, put into our bodies, uh, and acidic water on the outside. This is what we would use for, uh, say, acne or psoriasis or eczema or to water house plants or to clean the kitchen counter or sterilize uh, kitchen utensils. Jay Hare says there is growing interest in ionized water in the alternative medical community. There's some fundamental properties that the alternative community is looking at with this altered water. Um, it provides a, a rich beneficial source of alkalizing minerals is, is one through the increased pH and condensing the alkaline minerals. Uh, it provides a very strong measurable antioxidant potential. Uh, it helps increase hydration through the microclustering effect. Um, and it helps, uh, the increased hydration actually helps detoxify the cells at a cellular level from metabolic waste much more effectively. When we come back, what is it about the water in this remote region of Ecuador, where many live to be a hundred? And a little later, the Minnesota company that's using electrically charged water to clean floors without chemicals. Stay with us. Who has the highest percentage of water in their body, a man or a woman? The answer when we return. You're watching the award winning American Health Journal. Who has a higher percentage of water in their body, a man or a woman? Surprisingly, the answer is a man. A man's body is 60 to 65 percent water, while a woman's is 50 to 60 percent. Men tend to have more muscle as a percentage of body weight, and muscle contains a larger amount of water. Is there something special about the water in South Ecuador? Jay Hare went on a journey to find out. There are cultures around the world that have been studied because of their particular specific absence of chronic degenerative diseases and their propensity to live longer, healthier, vital, more vital lives. Um, some of those communities would be the Hunzas in Pakistan, the Vilcabombans in Ecuador, uh, the, the Georgians up in the, the former Soviet Union. Um, and when, the, when WHO funded some research around that, what they determined was that one of the consistent um, influences in those cultures was their, the fact that they had all been drinking higher pH alkaline waters. Because of the, the long-standing wisdom that there were these special waters around the world, but uh, we wanted to actually go down and, and document um, one of these that we had heard of in, in Ecuador. And so we had the good fortune last fall to travel down to the Andes Mountains to a small valley uh, in South Ecuador and actually not only test the water for uh, the natural, naturally occurring properties of alkalinity and, and low electrical energy, the, the alkalinity is coming up. It's the most unusual water ever. We got to actually interview uh, a couple of the what we call the ancients, a uh, 105-year-old woman and a 108-year-old man and another 100-year-old woman. And so um, that was fascinating. Maria Luisa Medina, 105 years old. And she's very healthy. She has never been to the hospital. What we learned down there was kind of surprising. I came away personally feeling like we make health way too complex in the United States. The Vilcabombans are a community of people who live these healthy lifestyles because they're doing very, very simple things naturally without thinking about it. They're drinking great water, they're eating great food that's grown locally and fresh, they are living a lifestyle that doesn't have a lot of stress. And so we found that, that those simple secrets, we thought that was why these people live to be so old and so vital and so alive. If that water is so great, why, why can't we just bottle it and take it to the rest of the world? Uh, well, there are a couple of reasons. Some of those properties are not 